This one's for all those frustrated riders out there. Benjamin Franklin said there are two certain things in life, death and taxes. Well, he missed a third constant, and that's the fact that writers in this new world of publishing will give up and quit. I've met my fair share of friends who started off strong, but then quit writing because they didn't get the sales they wanted after their first one or two books. These, who are you and what are you here for? I'm your critical voice. I was just waiting for you to finish so I could tell you how crappy this video was going to be. Crappy? But you haven't even seen it yet. Don't have to. All your videos are crap, remember? Listen, come on. Why don't you just do yourself a favor and quit writing and just be a reader? What was wrong with reading books? Your books are just so ugh, second rate, full of typos. In these videos, seriously, I don't know why anyone would want to subscribe to this channel and listen to some random black guy give advice when he's not even a full time author. In the glare in your glasses. <laughs> you believe that guy? Anyway. Before I was rudely interrupted, I was going to tell you that the writers I knew who quit did so because they were stuck in their heads. They listened to their critical voices. They let other people talk them out of writing. They didn't have enough confidence in themselves to keep learning and to keep charging ahead even though they couldn't see the immediate benefit. So they talked themselves out of it and got trapped in the theater of their own minds. After all, they had been writing for a few years and saw no sales from their efforts. That's incredibly discouraging, especially when you have bills to pay and a family at home depending on you. I can't tell you how many times I have felt guilty about my writing career. But let me tell you something. If I quit today, I'd feel a lot more guilty because of all the things I didn't accomplish. I'd be miserable, actually, because being an author is so woven into the fabric of who I am as a human being. I don't know about you or your situation, but I have no choice but to keep going. It's wired into my DNA. And as long as I'm healthy, I'll be here. I'll let you in on a little secret. Do you know what the one thing that almost all successful authors I've met have in common? It's not money. It's not the fact that they understand business or know how to market their books better. It's not even hard work or luck. Those are all myths. The reason authors today are successful, especially indie authors, is because they have big egos. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Having an ego is a good thing, as long as you don't use it to hurt other people. But look at any successful indie author out there who you admire. They probably have so much confidence in themselves that it oozes from them. It's probably why you were attracted to them in the first place, even though you may not have realized it. They have the confidence in themselves that they'll figure out a way in this strange new world, regardless of how many failures they make. They have the confidence that they'll be able to learn whatever it takes so that they can get there faster. They light up their critical voice with fireballs anytime he appears to. They also have three other major types of confidence that I won't talk about in this video. Maybe I'll do a separate video on that. If you guys want to learn more, sound off in the comments. I can teach you a lot of stuff on this channel, but I can't teach you self-confidence. But the next time you hear your mind telling you that you can't do something or that you should quit, remember that every writer has to deal with their critical voice and it never goes away. There's always going to be an excuse about why you can or shouldn't or won't do something. There will always be authors around you who whine and complain about something. The solution is to simply believe in yourself, take that blind leap of faith, and just take the next step, no matter how hard or bad it feels. It's that simple and that hard. If this is your first time watching, I'd love to have you subscribe. Every week I do videos with craft, marketing, and business advice. I also cover publishing industry news that will help you grow your author business, sell more books, and connect with readers. I hope I can play a small part in your future success because it's time for you to get the author career that you deserve. So subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.